you know, if you want to fix it, you must face it. And um, it's a, a strong topic, man, even to for me when I was on my journey for, you know, for my weight loss. And this is for any journey. This is a, a fitness journey, weight loss, weight gain, relationship, business. You know, it's really having a mind frame of, 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 of facing it. So what I mean by that, you know, I've been uh, um, I was walk, talking to one of my clients uh, last week. You know, I love to talk about things that is re- relevant um, that a lot of people definitely go through. So, as you know, when it comes to, you know, uh, the scale, right, when it comes to, uh, you know, maybe exercise and working out, um, we have to face it. We have to face that scale, right? We got to step on a lot of ladies, our mentoring guys, you know, do not want to step on a scale. Or maybe they want to fix the way they look. Maybe I want to fix my arms. I hate my flabby arms or my stomach. So you have to face it. And, and when I mean facing it, and facing it means, you know, no more lying to yourself. No more cheating yourself. And I heard you guys earlier saying that. You know, okay, I'm going to do 15 reps, but I only did 10. You could do five more, but you cheated yourself. Right. Oh, uh, today I'm going to the gym and work out. You told yourself that, but then, but then you didn't complete or commit to it, and then you lied to yourself. So we're not, we're not facing it. We're not attacking it, and we're not facing the truth that we tell ourselves. And that's in turn, guys. You know, um, bring down that spiral to where you get to that depression stage, where you have that fear of failure stage. And think about it. Think about this. Let's say me and Emily, we are in a relationship. And over and over, I keep cheating and lying to her. I'm cheating on her, I'm lying to her. I'm cheating on her, I'm lying to her. After a while, guys, she's going to have a fear of failure to keep on trying to make it work. She's going to fear that, hey, you're going to lie to me. You're going to cheat on me. So I'm not I'm not comfortable. I'm not confident it's going to work. And I'm scared it's not going to work this time because the time I put in, the sacrifice, the investment, I don't want to be a waste. And it's the same thing people have mentally on their, on their um, journey. Like, oh, I don't want to try it again because I know I'm, I'm a, I, I might lie to myself because my discipline's not there. Or oh, I don't want to invest, you know, into a gym membership or a food plan because I know I might not stick to it. So we just got to get over that fear of failure. We have to work on our, here we go, here's the word. We got to work on our integrity. That's why it's good to have support. That's why it's good to have a coach, somebody to face it, you know, face that fear, face that, you know, um, I guess, um, self-doubt, you know, on yourself to make sure, hey, man, I need somebody to make sure you keep me honest, you know, keep me from, um, you know, cheating the system. So do you, you guys have anything like that? Do you feel like I need to stop lying to myself or cheating myself to go to the next level? All the time. Um, and that's one thing I'll throw myself out there where I'm like, okay, I'm going to get this gym membership. Right. And I might go to the gym four or five times a month because I'm like making excuses. Like and, ho- and take pictures to hold yourself accountable. Yeah, because normally I like take pictures or bring someone with me and awesome. say, "Hey, you can come free, so you want to come with me." So when I have someone that accountability partner, I'm consistent. I'm going. Then when I don't have that partner, I'm like, "Well, I can go tomorrow because today I need to do this errand. I need to do this. I need to do that." And then, but I'll spend that thirty or forty minutes on Facebook. Rather yep. than in the gym, so I'm I'm starting back. I'm about to be um, consistent. Every day I leave um, the station, I'm going straight to the gym. Good. No, I love I love that. Today? Not today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna start tomorrow. Monday. <laughs> You're gonna start Monday. See, yeah, see so I can be consistent. About. Hey, but we got other things to do after the show today, so um, that's why I can't go today. Then I have to go to work. So what are we doing after the show? Uh oh. You didn't read the group message. <laughs> you, you're the only one going. Yeah, look that way. Would well, never mind, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, 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 and not to put you on, Emily. And you know, we want to help our listeners out. You know, and and that's a part two. Sometimes we could cheat ourselves because you know the motto. We do things we feel that's important. So you know, we right. can we can find time today to try to get a workout if if you really want to face it, right? Because again, we do things we feel important. So, and I love that accountability because I often ask people, who's your accountability? Usually people say, well, my husband, my boyfriend. It's okay, but we all know that your boyfriend and your or your husband is going to let you slide, right? It's going to let you, okay, it's okay, baby, if you don't go today. And that's not a, a, a good accountability partner because you need somebody that's not going to let you slide. That's not going to say... Yeah, my, husband, my husband be tripping. Right, right, right. You know what? I'm glad you said that because, because me and my wife, I talked to her yesterday about this. And that's why me and her struggle because, yes, with her trainer, she could lie. She could cheat. But if I'm living with her, 
you know, uh, she can't do that. And that's why when we first started our relationship, she struggled because she was like, I want you to keep me accountable. I want, you know, I'm trying to lose weight. And I'm like, uh, you can't eat that. And she'd be like, and she'll get mad at me. So I learned, okay, well, maybe you don't want this, right? So so have somebody that's going to take it take you really seriously, but you have to set the tone. Like, hey, I need to make sure that you stay on me and, and, and I have to take a picture. I love pictures because they say, well, pictures don't lie, numbers don't lie. So my clients, my my motto is I might not trust you, but I, but I was always believing you. So they got to send me pictures of the scale, pictures, you know, in the beginning every time they work out so I can verify, you know, you are doing what you're supposed to do. But it helps because it's going to have you to stay in that position, guys, to where now you're going to finally see the, the benefits of it. And now instead of you say, I have to do it, you're going to start saying, I want to do it. And that's the part why it's important to have that accountability factor. You have to find a system that's that's going to help you to win. And a lot of times we try to find a plan and don't work. But sometimes we can give up on a plan compared to as successful people. We keep trying to find a plan. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try something else. That didn't work. Let's try something else. And you keep on trying until you find what works. So I'm be very honest. You know, the last month I've been stopping going to the gym. I'm like going to physically gym to work out because I was saying the same thing in my mind. Well, I got this work. And if I go at 30 minutes an hour. So I was saying that to myself um, also. But I know that for me to be successful, for me to be my best, I have to exercise. It's a it's a principle I have set in my mind. It's not it's not negotiable. I know the difference when I don't exercise or, you know, I don't work out my endorphins, my energy. I'm sluggish. And if I want to do great things, I can't afford to be sluggish. But that's my personal beliefs. So I had to find another plan. So I work out more at home now. And it wasn't best because I love to be in an atmosphere of working out, being around people because I'm an energy guy. So I said, OK, T, either you're going to make it, go to the gym, or you're going to make it work at home. So I've been working out more at home just so I can get a 20, 30 workout, minute workout in, find balance. Um, until, you know, I find an, a, another plan that will help me go to the gym. So you got to find a way, right? And it's all about finding a way if it's super important to you. So home workouts, that may be something that you have to do since you're going to be at home. You can do squats, you know, every hour, maybe do about 40 squats, you know, if you're at home or, you know, getting some kind of exercise, jumping jacks if you're at home, maybe every Every um three minutes, boom, do 20 jumping jacks. Boom, put some more clothes in the dryer. Um, you know, try to exercise while you're cleaning up. So you just have to be creative and find way just to burn energy. You don't have to work out as meaningful. Like, oh, I gotta exercise, I gotta go to the gym. No, you just gotta burn energy, you gotta burn fat, you gotta make sure we are staying healthy. So I hope that helps um, you know, to find another way just to get some type of exercise. That that did that help you, Sham? Yeah. Um when I was on my weight loss journey, what I noticed was I was I was at my greatest when I when my I had to hold my integrity because a lot of people struggle with their goals because of their integrity because nobody's watching them nobody's making them do anything. Think about it when I play football. I could tell my coach during the game all day, coach, I didn't hold him. I didn't hold him. I promise you, coach. Coach, I'm like, okay, all right, we'll see you tomorrow because our thing used to be the eye in the sky don't lie, which is the camera. And one thing about with sports, you know, you have to be honest, right? Because it's going to show. It's a camera always on you. But think about if you always could have a camera on you, I'm sure people will be more honest, but we don't. So you have to work on your integrity. And that's one thing that I, I really had to work on. I'm very honest. You know, I used to be a guy that used to hide and used to lie in the past. I would hide my flaws, my arms, my stomach. I will lie. Well, no, I'm not going in the pool. You know, I didn't I didn't bring my swimming trunks, but because I didn't want to show my show show my um, belly. You know, I said, Well, I can't go to the gym today. Uh it's 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 raining, so but I'm I'm really cheating myself. I really can. So we we do lie and cheat to protect our pride because our pride, our self-esteem is important. So we tell ourselves that so we feel feel better. We can't be real with like, well, I'm just a lazy ASS. That's why I ain't going. No, that don't feel good, right? So we're not going to say that, right? But it, that's why it's so important, you know, for me, and I talk about it in my book, it's called Integrity Through Commitment. And I told myself, if I can't keep my integrity to myself, how am I going to do it with my employees? How am I going to do it with my business partner? How am I going to do it with my wife? And I had to have a real conversation. And if I want to be a great businessman and have my, my, my principles and my morals on integrity, then I got to start now. 
And that's what really helped me to lose my 100 pounds and also for my business to grow. Because, no, Terrence, if you say you're going to edit, edit. If you say you're going to do it, do it. Don't write it down to because it look cute on your on your little to-do list. But if they're going to do it, then don't put it. So I had to really work on, okay, do put on there what you can attack and do and not put on there that 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 looks good so you feel good. Say, oh, I got a good to-do list. Oh, it's long. I'm going a, I'm to a go beast it. And then you don't beast it. Then, then that night you feel bad about yourself. And now you're like, oh, I didn't do it. And now that now that energy goes down and that don't excite you for the next day. So um, So just commit small commitments. If you're used to lying, you can't say, I'm going to go from zero workouts a day to, to, to five, six. No, go two, start there. Then, then build three, build four. But hold your integrity, and that's going to help you so much, not just in, in weight loss or fitness, but just for all around, you know, um, relationship, work, things like that. That is true. That is true. I, I'm, I'm, I'm soaking all this in, man. I'm, but uh, we definitely, like, like every, every week, you know, uh, you give motive, motivating information, motivating advice for everybody and for the listeners, you know. And, yes. and I know because people come back and say something to me, a lot of people, this is their favorite day uh, of the week because you give them that motivation and that information to continue on. But we definitely appreciate you calling in just like you do every week, man. Uh, any any closing thoughts? Uh, man, only thing I'll say is, one, understand, guys, that weight gain, weight loss is not your real problem. It's the self-sabotage behaviors, triggers, and habits that will that will always get in your way. Work on those things, guys, and I promise you, you'll definitely get to your goal. You can find me at www.dtpexperience.com. Uh, I have a lot of motivational videos, set up appointment. I'm here to help. I'm here to lead. I'm here to inspire, and we could definitely get to your goals together.